I've had many memories uh, with with uh, Sheikh Nasser, um, and and every time I think about those times, uh, I've always thought how a great visionary he is. He's never thought about himself or the benefits that would he would get out of any project or idea he would think of. He would always think about the surrounding, the, the, the stakeholders, the parties involved in such idea or vision. I remember one, one of those meetings he called uh, for us to be part of, uh, some of the uh, young leaders, some of the uh, older generation, some um, um, financial and some management and some artists and some politicians and it was a, a, a group that had different type of, of people uh, as part of this meeting. And I remember he uh, had asked everyone individually, uh, I think the room had about 30 or so people in that big meeting room and he uh, allowed almost equally or equal time into for everyone to speak, introduce themselves, so wh say who they are, and he would interact with them, and I s he would say, "I know your father, I know your uncle, I know your 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 uh, 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 your son, uh, your brother, and so on and so forth." So again, he would the Sheikh Nasser would immediately break the ice, uh, would would make you part of that that bigger plan and vision. So he would allow time for everyone to introduce themselves and say uh, what they believe or think about his vision. Uh, so he was, not, he was not someone who would, who would say, this is my vision and this is my plan and this is how I want it to be done. He engaged everyone, he engaged us into the thinking process that he had and he would inspire everyone in the room. We would leave the room feeling so optimistic and so hopeful of how uh, we have uh, Sheikh Nasser as a leader and visionary that he would not just, you know, put ideas. Yes, there was drawing boards, there was plans, there was financial studies, there was everything that, that you may think of when you talk about uh, uh, mega planning or, or, or visions for, for a country. Uh, yet, he would bring it down to the very personal level and he would talk to the individuals uh, grassroots way of thinking, uh, engaging the community, engaging the youth, engaging uh, families, engaging individuals, artists, uh, people from different uh, mindset and different level of education, level of, 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 of leadership and so on and so forth. So I think that also uh, was part of how, how much we loved him and how much we believed in him and his vision. Uh, and I, I, I do remember when he was talking about his, his, his plan with us in one of those meetings, he would not think about Kuwait only as a, as a nation and how to advance Kuwait and whatnot. He always thought and, and, and believed and uh, had in mind the collective uh, way of thinking. He always thought about the geopolitical situation. He always thought and... and uh, 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 planned uh, and, and, and visualized and envisioned the, the, uh, uh, the future of Kuwait among uh, uh, every country around Kuwait. If Kuwait would benefit from such a plan, X dollars or X uh, benefits, then how would the surrounding nations, uh, whether it's GCC all the way to, to, to Iraq, Iran, and all the way to China, and how would that w would be a one cohesive uh, uh, trade line, uh, one uh, uh, cohesive community that would benefit from one another? How those islands, or how that, 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 that um, northern uh, area of Kuwait that have he always envisioned would benefit not just Ku the Kuwaiti people and Kuwait, yet would have an impact, it would have an echo on, on the region itself. And that by itself taught us a lot of when we think about something, uh, when there is an idea, when there is a vision, uh, we much uh, uh, better be considering everyone else involved in this, in this idea, all the stakeholders uh, uh, be part of that idea and vision. And so, so uh, as a leader, he had this, this way of thinking 
uh, very unselfish way of, of believing in something and planning it and, and visualizing and envisioning the future of Kuwait.